guys, it's me. So this is my dog. Um, I'm gonna be petting him during the video, so just don't mind that. Anyway, oh, you're laying on my book. Okay, so I finished this book yesterday. Like it took like half a day to read. Super, super easy read. Also, I was just like super excited about it once I kind of started learning more. It is start something that matters. Guys, okay, so I'm assuming majority of people watching this live in America and this is where their customer base was most located. If you don't know about the Tom's story, pretty much this guy, Blake, had a trip to Argentina. Anyway, so Blake took a trip to Argentina and everything and there he saw, you know, pretty much everyone wearing this style of shoes that are Tom's. Um, but, you know, they're not the Tom's brand. They're just the regular thing. And which my mom said that as well when her Tom's first came out. She was like, well, you know, um, that's pretty much what everybody wears. And now it's just American and now it's just really expensive. Which is all true. I mean, you know. What Tom's did is pretty much took the local shoe and uh, and capitalized on it. So that's how the book starts off. And it talks about his story. So... Let me read the chapter outlines to y'all. You start off with the Tom's story, and then it goes to find your story. And so in find your story, pretty much for like the rest of the book, it goes find your story, face your fears, be resourceful without resources, which is kind of a huge thing, especially if you're starting a business. Um, and it mentions it in here, and mentions it in a lot of business entrepreneurial kind of books. And it says that most businesses who start with a lot of capital end up just kind of plummeting because you know they're like oh now we have all this money spent on marketing and advertising blah, blah 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 but you don't quite focus as much as you would if you didn't have that capital and didn't have that resource and um I don't know people kind of see money and they're like bam we're doing good immediately you know like it's a startup and we raised you know like x amount of thousands of dollars you know like a hundred thousand dollars or something and you spend all that on one thing and you need to more invest in the product or you know, the customer service, because customer service is huge. I don't know, I feel like that's really, just personally, a really big thing to invest in, so. Yeah, but anyway, um, so he actually talks about his team. Um, there's one example in here where he talks about Nordstrom had called him, and um, they were like, hi, we need, you know, like this is a buyer for Nordstrom, and I need to talk to someone about getting 800 pairs of shoes or something for just, you know, like a little preview kind of thing, you know? And Blake, the, you know, founder, um, answered the phone and he was pretty much like, uh, sorry, we don't have that stock right now, blah, blah, blah. And so then he was like, well, I'm getting frustrated. I need to talk to someone who's like in charge of, you know, vending and sales or whatever. And I mean, it was just like a team of three at the time, him and two interns. And so he just kind of passed the phone over to the next girl and, you know, she told him the same thing. And, he and then she passed the phone over to the other intern and um, he was like, listen, the person you just talked to was the founder. The other person was an intern. I'm an intern. And the Nordstrom guy was like, y'all are that small? I mean, like some companies, they just start off small and they make such a huge impact, which I love. I just, I think companies that do good, not only for themselves, but also for others, like Tom's is doing with the, you know, like buy a shoe, you know, a kid gets a shoe. You buy a pair of eyeglasses, a kid gets a pair of eyeglasses. For this book, you buy a book and, um, wow, that looks really weird, but I just have, anyway. So you buy a book, a kid gets a book, you know? Yeah, provided to a child in need, one for one. I'm not sure how that works with libraries exactly because I just rented this one from the library as with three other books that I'm currently reading and, and that one. So yeah, um, I'm, I just read a lot at once, all right? And I'm sorry. <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and make this specific episode about this book because I loved it. I, okay, so yesterday I was kind of in a slump. It was a Thursday. And, um, you know, my mom came home early and she was like, hey, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, our Wi-Fi wasn't working, so she was like, let's go ahead and, you know, or I said, let's go ahead and go to Starbucks. So we went ahead and went to Starbucks and everything. You know, she's doing her work and everything on the computer. I brought this book because I was like, well, I'm kind of reading, like, I have my book in my car. I have this book at home. And I was like, but I kind of want to read something else. So um, I looked through my other library books that I had and got this one and did not regret reading this. Like, we were only there an hour, and I got a good of the way through it, and then we had to pick up my siblings and everything, so I came back and then pretty much, like, finished it later that night. And um, I also got, like, a lot of business ideas and stuff, which I love whenever I read entrepreneurial-style books because it's just like, you know, like, hey, this person did this with this, or this person did this without this, and different things like that, too. So resources are nice, 
you need resources. I'm not saying they're not necessary, but I'm saying you don't need an overabundance because when you have an overabundance, that's when it kind of goes wrong. Um, for most businesses, at least, I don't know. Maybe there's a business that started up that I don't know about that you know had way too much to start with and did good. I don't know, but you know, what other outlines are there? Okay, keep it simple, build trust, giving is good business, and the final step, and then acknowledgments, of course. But um, a lot of the book, I love this about entrepreneurial style books. Is entrepreneurs know entrepreneurs. You know, like business knows business. Um, so pretty much like whatever you are in and like whatever industry or whatever, if you saturate yourself with that enough, it's gonna it's gonna happen, you know? Blake received also lots of emails and everything of people saying like, hey, um, you know, you inspired me to do this. There's um, the business one shot. I'm not sure if y'all have heard of it or not. Oh my gosh, you're gonna itch yourself. Like I said, entrepreneurs know entrepreneurs, business knows business. If you surround yourself with it enough, pretty much it's gonna come to you. Um, don't look yourself right now, all right? I'm still filming. I just wanna finish up this video and then you can look yourself, all right? Thank you. Anyway, ratings now. I, like, 10 out of 10 recommend the book to everyone. Um, but a rating for the book, I'd probably give like an eight, just because, um, well, it is a business book, one. And it's not a how-to, um, so I guess I, you know, Maybe judged a little bit unfairly, but pretty much um, it is a semi guide, but mainly inspiration um, to anyone who's out there who's like, you know, well, I mean, I have a nice idea, but I mean, the thing is, all ideas start on paper, and it's what you do with it. All knowledge comes from whatever, and it depends on what you do with the knowledge. I mean, I could sit here, and I mean, I do sit here and listen to podcasts and um, audio books and read books like this and stuff. But if I do absolutely nothing with it, all I'm doing is reading and learning, which is nice, yes. I feel like that's pretty much what college was for me. Um, but if all you're doing is learning and not applying, so just find something that you love and go with it and stick with it and um, I guarantee you'll love your life so much more. Anyway, but I, Definitely recommend this book to anyone who wants to, one, learn the story of Tom's, two, likes business, anyone who, three, um, just wants a good book to read, and it's a really easy, quick read. This book is only like, what, not a lot of pages, 185 pages, yeah, so like I said, breeze through this in half a day, I'm pretty sure you can breeze through this in half a day, I don't know what your reading pace is, you know, if it's different than mine, if it's a little faster, you can get through it in a quarter of a day, if it's a little uh, slower than mine, you can get through it in like a, a day. But yeah, like I said, super, super easy read. I absolutely love this book. I actually am going to buy it to have because also I love, love, love autobiographies and biographies and stuff of, mainly autobiographies, of founders of companies and stuff like Tom's and, you know, just like really, really good companies that are doing so good in the world and making a difference and their whole mission is to make a difference, you know? And I mean, companies that start off and, you know, like their whole mission isn't to make a difference, but then they end up doing that anyway. That's pretty cool too. I don't know if any businesses is just like that, but you know, if you do, let me know in the comments below because I think that would be really interesting to know. But that is the end of the video. Um, if you like me doing book reviews because I need to get back to it, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like book reviews and you want me to do more like makeup or makeup reviews or something like that, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you want to see in the future. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get back to book reviews, um, but also I've been really into like uh, Zodiac makeup kind of stuff, which is kind of weird. Uh, Kayla Nichol Nicholson does it, and I love her, and I love her channel, so um, I might be doing some of that and just like adding in a video every week um, until all the Zodiacs are done. But for sure, I will continue the book reviews. I just need to you know, take time to sit down like this and just let y'all know. Also, I like sitting on the ground so much better than like sitting in a chair just because also this is tile and it's one, it's hot outside. Two, I get to pet Maximus right here. So that's always really nice. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, come back next week for more. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but it's gonna be something and I, I mean, I'll enjoy doing it and I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy watching it. It might be just like a chit chat or something, which would be pretty fun. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you don't want to see more, I mean, like, <laughs> bye. <laughs>
Bye, guys. <laughs>